Uh, we're going to be working on a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power and customer said it doesn't charge. So I did test the Nintendo Switch in front of the customer and the meter would not turn on. So there's something going on with the charging circuit. We're going to test it together right now. Big Boss already removed the board. This is the board for the Nintendo Switch. Plug it in and let's monitor the amp meter to see if there is any signs of life and nothing the power bank is on but look at the meter it's totally black nothing dead so it's not seeing that we have the cable plugged into the switch now i told big boss to try another battery we did and we were able to get the nintendo switch to power on so a battery did power it on but charging is not working so a couple of things can cause a no charge including a bad usb-c port Charging IC, fuse, short, a lot of things. Let's take a look at the board. No signs of damage. And right now, we're going to test to see if there's a short of any type on the board. So no short. And what about here? We don't have a short here. Problem could be caused from this strip. Look at this. This is short. Short. So it's most likely this strip. We should have it in stock because we've done it before. So this is the chip. Let's go ahead and replace it. And hopefully we can get this Nintendo Switch to charge again. The first thing I want to do is prep the pads and we'll solder the chip. In the center, I just need one tiny blob. Just like that. And where's our chip? Okay, so pin number one should be like this. It should be facing those three caps here. But first, before we solder the chip, let me test to see if we still have a short on those caps. We should not, if in fact the chip is what's causing the short. And I know from experience this chip does fail. Now look at this, we do not have a short. Let's start with this cap. Nothing, no short. No short. No short, no short. Very good.
and the job is done. Let's quickly clean up and test. First, I want to see if we still have a short on those caps after soldering the chip. Meter in diode mode, red probe on ground and no short. Look at this. Look at this. 0 0.5 diode reading. Awesome. Plug it in. And yes, it's working. Look at this. Look at this. Amp meter is on. It's not going to charge right now because we don't have a battery connected, but Big Boss is going to assemble it and we'll test it together. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, it should work. Right now it's charging at 0 0.48 amps, which is excellent. And do we see anything on the screen? Yeah, right there. So it's working and the problem is fixed. I'm gonna call the customer to come and pick up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. Thank you.